beautiful Leos and are you ready for your Leo plus Taurus love reading for the month of February? We are looking into feelings, actions, and ending oracle. For any of my Leos who are interested in connecting to and or curious about a Taurus, please do keep in mind the reading can resonate backwards, reverse, flipped. So assign the roles as you wish. Take your resonating message and leave the rest behind. Please do not force a reading to fit. So let's get started. I need Leo's feelings for Taurus and what are Taurus feelings for Leo let's see what's coming through all right so we have Leo your feelings for Taurus are the four of cups the nine of swords and the ten of pentacles Okay, we have Taurus feelings for you as the Five of Wands, the Queen of Swords, sorry, the sun is shining on us right now, and the Eight of Wands. Okay, so what is going on here? Um, we have Leo, your feelings are the Four of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, you look a bit stressed out out. So I feel like it could be um, one or two ways of being stressed out. Some of you are stressed out because you feel like you should ignore this Taurus and I somehow some way it could be causing you feeling overthinking. You may be going back and forth like should you ignore them? Should you answer? Should you respond? Should you not say anything? I get you in a position of feeling a bit stressed out over the actions you should and or should not take towards a Taurus. So I feel like you are all up in your head overthinking this. There could be a family dynamic involved or there was a home involved between the two of you either now or at one point. But you look like you're in a position of seemingly feeling like no matter how or what this Taurus says, they still can't deliver what you need out of love. That's what you emotionally look like. Taurus feelings for you are the Five of Wands, the Queen of Swords, and the Eight of Wands. So I feel like there's definitely some sort of tension and or there was or is some sort of arguing or conflict between the two of you. I feel like Taurus wants to have a conversation about this. I get an energy from them where they want to clear the air with you, Leo, or they don't want to have drama or conflict involved. They just want to have a good energy with you. So I feel like this Taurus is definitely keeping you at a distance for sure. But I get this strong attraction to your energy, Leo, for some reason why. I feel like this person just wants to talk to you. They just want to be around you. I feel like they might feel if they get any more emotional with you, it'll just cause conflict. You're in a position of, should I ignore this person? Should I give more to this person? What should I do here? So... Yeah, this Taurus is actually really wanting to have this connection be a lot more positive, a lot better, a lot more on that level of just having the air cleared. Like I really feel like this Taurus just wants to have the air cleared and things to feel really a lot more at ease with you. So I don't know if there was true conflict between the two of you or there's external people around the two of you, or there's just that feeling of tension. If that's not the case at all, th you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of like a relationship that decides like, hey, you know, maybe we're not the greatest together, but I still like value you as a person. That's giving me these, this kind of, that kind of vibe. Whatever, let's continue on. <laughs> Let's see. Show me Leo's future actions towards, hello, Taurus and Taurus future actions towards Leo. I'm not taking a flyer. I'm taking them on the six card pull. 
Oh, gosh. This is for Leo plus Taurus. Please show me. Leo's feelings for Taurus. Taurus actions towards Leo. Leo's actions towards Taurus. There you go. Thank you. Let's look into it. We have Leo. Your actions are the Page of Swords. The Five of Cups. And the Knight of Cups. See? What's going on here? Hmm. Their actions towards you, the Taurus, the Chariot, the Ace of Wands, mm -hmm. and the Queen of Cups. Okay, so this Taurus definitely has feelings for you. Um, they really just love who you are. In whatever way, shape, or form. Could be romantic, could be just person-wise. You know, you could just love who somebody is. Doesn't mean they have to be romantic. Um, in this case, this is a love reading, but love doesn't always have to be romantic, right? But I definitely feel like this Taurus really just adores you. They just adore your energy. They are so attracted to you. They're so, like... What's the word I'm looking for? Fascinated by you. So I really get that despite how you feel about this person or what you want from this person, they just want to be able to have you in their life as a partner, possibly, as a friend, possibly, as just somebody that they don't have bad blood with, possibly. This person wants full clearance of the air. They want things to move forward in a great, passionate way. And they really want a connection where there is no tension. Your actions towards them are the Page of Swords, the Five of Cups, and the Knight of Cups. So I feel like you are curious about this Taurus, too. You do look like possibly this connection or there was some disappointment connected to this person. But with the Knight of Cups here, your heart is also still open towards this Taurus. Maybe not on the same depth. Believe it or not, this Taurus actually is showing deeper love for you than you show for them, which is actually pretty interesting because um, sometimes that would be the other way around with an earth and fire connection, but not in this case. So this Taurus is definitely very, very into keeping you around, keeping you in their life or continuously growing this connection. They feel this magnetized energy towards you, Ace of Wands. If you haven't heard from a Taurus, I definitely see you hearing from a Taurus in February or there's just a, so much communication with this person. They're really just, I get this fascination. So, and I feel like their emotions are involved in some way, shape, or form. And I feel like you both are going to come into some open-hearted energy. I do feel like they could be a bit more open than you. But that doesn't mean that that's wrong of you, you know. Or that's right of them. There's no wrong or right here. It's just the way you two are coming in energetically. Um, but I definitely get this person being a lot more connected or wanting to connect to you a lot more in that way of emotion. So in whatever way, shape, or form, Taurus wants it. They do. And they are really in this indication or this energy where however they're able to have you in their life is okay with them as long as you're there. Oh, all right. Well, that's what I got in terms of zodiac signs in the spread that could also be in your charts. We only have the chariot, which is cancer, but we do have a lot of water, cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So let's see what the Oracle has one for Leo, one for Taurus. Leo, you have new direction. So possibly you feel very good moving in this new direction with this Taurus or you are heading in a new direction. Are you bringing this person with you? could be different for all of you. They have regret. Yeah. So they may have done or said things that they wish that they didn't. I like I, that's probably why I feel that in whatever way, shape or form, they just want to be in your life. So they probably did or said something that caused you to withdraw from them. Please clarify this regret for Taurus commitment. Why is this here? 
fresh start. Yeah. So possibly you two were together or things seemingly so looked like they were moving towards a commitment. Some of you, this could just be a new Taurus, honestly. And that could also explain why I feel the energy that they just want a chance with you. No matter what kind of chance it is, they're willing to start off as friends, like stuff like that. So, huh, interesting. Let's see, Leo, you have new direction to recognition. Yeah. So I feel like if this is a new Taurus, I feel like things are definitely growing and expanding throughout February. If this is a Taurus you already know, I get movement towards new energy. You two are going to move towards a newer level or a newer cycle that is just a lot better for the two of you. Possibly more towards commitment or maybe realizing that you two need to work on like a friendship foundation before getting there. But definitely new, new energy. And there is your advice card rolling out onto the spread. So here is your advice for Taurus and Leo. And it says, only time will tell. Ooh, all right. That's what we have here. Thank you for being here and for watching. If you're looking for a different sign, check the channel. If it's not out already, do subscribe and ring that bell to all so you are alerted of when the sign you're looking for's reading is released. I love each and every one of you out there. Thank you, my beautiful Leos. Thank you, Taurus, if you're here. I'll see and talk to all of y'all very, very, very soon. Bye now.